Hello there, I'm Clement Saggers, and today I'm going to be telling you how to put vintage games on your computer. DDL312 has asked me how to do this, and um, so if you're watching, um, this is how you do it. Now, um, firstly, I'm going to show you a couple of sites where you can get the games. This is One World, and um, you can see there the URL. And then um, the games are called ROMs. If you look down, you can see various different systems that they have games for. Now, let's say we want to download a game for the Nintendo NES and play it on the computer. Go to Nintendo, and you can see a list of games. Just go back up and you can see there's an A to Z. <clears throat> so let's say we want to get Bubble Bubble. Go to B. My computer takes a bit of time to respond. Anyway, it's now a few seconds later and um, I've got to the um, where the game is. Just go right up here. And now you can see there's a it says download now. So I'll just do that. And there we go. It's now downloaded. So um Let's check out another site. So this is another site you can download games. It's called Emu Paradise. And um, this is the address. To get to the ROMs on this, we go to this little bit here where it says Featured. You can see your ROMs, which is where the games are. Now we're in the um, ROMs section, which is where the games are, and they do have quite a vast selection. So you've got the Atari and uh, Nintendo and Sega and even PlayStation. And there's more here. And look, they even do Game Boy Advance. <clears throat> so, uh, let's go to the Game Boy Advance. For some reason, going into the Game Boy Advance bit, you get a few choices here. But since it's Game Boy Advance we want here, that's what we'll go to. So anyway, we now have a list. And there's so many ROMs that they've had to put it into loads and loads of different sections. Now, uh, right at the bottom here, you've got complete listing of all the games, but we won't go into that right now, we'll just download one at random. So let's go into the first one. And here are the games. As you can see, They certainly have a lot. And this is just the first 100 of what they have. So anyway, let's, um, just gonna have a look and see if I find anything interesting. Alright, we'll get Super Mario Advance. They only seem to have the Japanese version, but it doesn't matter. You can see a window that appears. And you go to this little icon here. And it should download. I'll just maximize this window so we can see what we're doing. There is a vote thing here, but you don't need to do that. So we just go to download. 
and any second it should start downloading. Now those two games have downloaded, and you can see them there and um, there. But you won't be able to play these yet because you need an emulator. If we go into the one of the ones we just downloaded, um, you can see that it is not an executable or a, any type of PC file. So that's why we need the emulator. Now this site, Zolfar's Domain, you can get practically every emulator ever made. This is the um, address. If you're on a PC, you go to Windows DOS. If you're on Mac, you go to Macintosh or whatever system you happen to be on. But since I'm on Windows, we go to Windows. And there's a whole list of emulators which you can see here. Anyway, since we got a NES game and a Game Boy Advance game, we'll need a NES emulator and a Game Boy Advance emulator. And there's 79 emulators listed under NES, so we'll have a look through. This is the best one to get, Neztopia. You know, for Nez emulation. So now we have the two emulators downloaded. I'm going to extract Neztopia now. And there it is. And do Visual Boy. Visual Boy Advance. So we go in there. And there's the executable for the emulator. And the folders all moved around now, but there's Visual Boy Advance. All ready to play. Now I've opened, I've got Nestopia folder open again, and I've put the game, the next game we downloaded, in there so it's easy to find. Now to play the game, we're going to the main executable, and there it appears. Now to open it, we go to, or to play it, shall I say. Go to open, you can see it there, so double click on it, and there you go. Now I've loaded up Visual Boy Advance, which is the Game Boy Advance simulator. And again, to play a game, you go to open, and I've put the game we downloaded into its folder, so it's nice and easy to find. Just go to open, double click on the game, and there it is. So uh, anyway, I hope that's shed a little light on the subject. Uh, uh, remember, if you want to get the games, you go to Emu Paradise, or ROM World, and to get the emulators you go to Zolfar's Domain. For Nintendo NES, the um, NESTopia is the best emulator. Game Boy Advance, you want to get Visual Boy Advance because that will play Game Boy Advance and it will also do regular Game Boy games as well. Um, Sega Genesis and uh, Mega Drive and Master System, you want to get Gens Plus. Uh, Nintendo 64, Project 64, and, um, well, that's about it from me, so, until next time, good.